In this tutorial, we're going to look at a new feature that Google just recently released, which is the ability to share your Gmail contacts. I'm going to open up my uh, Gmail, and I can go to Contacts by either coming here to Mail and selecting Contacts, or clicking Contacts here. Either way uh, will take me to the same place. As I get to my contacts, I see I have 68 contacts. Now, the downside to what Google has done so far is I can only share all of my contacts or none of them. There's not an option to share a, a specific distribution list. So once I come here to More, and I can go to Manage Delegation Settings, I see that I'm the owner, and I can come here and then type in the person I want to give access to, which I'm just going to go to the training account and give access. Um, the only option here is can edit. So then I will share and save. And then once I hit done, I have now um, saved my contacts. So I'm going to open up the training account and again go to my contacts. And I see here, you know, my contacts and then down under delegate, delegated contacts, I see Holly Magnuson, my personal. And so when I click on that, I then see the 68 people that I have um, shared from my personal account to the training account. Now the other thing that um, seems to be a downside at this point is if I come back here to mail and I hit compose and say I want to email Chad Mo, one, one of my vendors, his name does not appear. Um, when I click the two, and I, tr you know, I say I want to search. I don't see the option to search my contacts. So the way I can email someone is I'll return back to contacts, find Chad, and from here I can hit email and then send an email to Chad. So Google has taken steps to um, allow more sharing of contacts, but it still has room to grow. Um, so it may or may not work the way you hope it will. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact training at apu.edu.